Okay, I said we were gonna look at some yen crosses, so let's do that. So remember, okay, so dollar yen. Before we do that, let's look at dollar yen. So we talked about, um, I have mentioned, excuse me, the, okay, here we go. I did mention the daily and weekly reversal resistance levels, right? Um, or daily support, uh, reversal support, weekly reversal support, etc. So let's look. This is a, let's look at dollar yen. This is a good um, a good instrument to look at for a, 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 a you know real life example. So daily reversal resistance in this case is actually the close from right here, which is March twenty fourth of twenty twenty. Okay. The close of that day is 111.22, all right? That's a spot if we got there. I was hoping we were going to get there and we were ripping higher two days ago. Um, but again, it's, you know, with Holy Week and, and you know, Good Friday today, every, it was, you know, really a worldwide, you know, holiday. Everything has just died down this week. So, I don't know, maybe we get there next week when things kind of open back up. But 111.22, keep that level in mind. Um, again, you've got five waves up. You've got an, an, a measurement here, too, where waves three through five equal 161.8% of wave one. That's a common relationship. So we've already reached that. The line that extends off the highest from January and March is going to be a, a wee bit higher around 111.50. But again, Gold has come into big support. We've seen a nice two-day rally. I like buying gold into 1712. Um, maybe we get that higher low in gold as we get a final high in dollar yen, right? Dollar yen and or yen and gold, I should say, tend to move uh, together most of the time. Now, I'm not there's not not all the times, and there's never an always, but a lot of the time they do. And you know, we looked at that that uh, copper gold ratio, talking about inflationary and deflationary pressures. You know. You talked about one of the implications and FX for that would be getting a uh, a pullback or a drop in yen crosses, right? We've yet to see that happen at all. So, you know, that is a spot where I'm kind of on reversal watch, not necessarily in dollar yen so much as something like pound yen, because remember, we looked at British pound, that's coming to a big, big level too. Check this out. I love this chart. And look, everyone's different. Everyone's got their own style, but I love looking into looking at a level like this and this has been a ripper right but i see we're coming to such a huge level i would love to um i would love to be able to short into this level and trading view just sent me 200 coins thank you trading view happy friday to you as well 153.85 look at that that is the high from april 2018 um and by the way it is april so april 2018 three years ago We've got the center line from the pitchfork, or median line, I should say, from the pitchfork that uh, goes back to October of 2016. We also have the top of the channel that goes back to March of last year. We have three, you know, very well-defined technical considerations for resistance at 153.85 in the British pound against the Japanese yen. OK, pay attention to this next week. It's a really big level, um, you know, where from there. Don't even think about that. For all I know, we can blow right through it. I'm not saying just, you know, short, short it here and go away. I'm saying we're coming to a huge level. If we get some evidence up there of a reversal, then I will want to short it. Right. We'll have you know some sort of a risk level to trade against. So I'm talking about, you know, a. a a daily reversal, you know, even a four hour reversal or something uh, at that level. So pound yen, very, very interesting cross as we go into next week, in my opinion. Uh, these are the other yen crosses we have looked at for the most part, I think, in the last couple of weeks, but might as well share them again. Here is pound yen or pound yen, Aussie yen, right? Underside of the trend line here, October 08. Uh, 2016, you can see all the pretty, you know, inflection points, pivots back here, 2018, 2019, 
and that is going to be about 8640 so again this one's a little higher as well if we get there you'd be looking at aussie yen potential resistance uh that intersection by the way is with that big low from 2013 you know, I'm sitting here quoting levels from like 2013 and, you know, all that stuff. Price has memory. OK, uh, people like, well, it doesn't matter. It was, you know, it was eight years ago. Not true. It does matter. You see it time and time and time again. In fact, if I were to say I would, you know, someone who were to say it doesn't matter, I would say, look at DXY, right? Uh, or we could look at euro for, let's look at it doesn't matter here's dxy but like you can see here what was that high back there here was that high from 2009 guess where we bottomed this year right there uh euro obviously the same deal right mm. right here that was 2009 that low right there right where did we top right there literally like to the almost to the tick us dollar right where did we bottom back here right it's very close to these levels here i had this drawn over and we kind of you know we we did hold on yeah that level right there was actually from 2015 we did bottom there back in january and we came back for a second test in February it's actually my birthday this is a so this is really weird for some reason people in my family and I have a large family I've got a bunch of sisters and all but for some reason I swear to God the markets tend to bottom or top big on, on one of our birthdays it's very odd very weird You think I'm crazy that I just said that, but I'm serious. Okay, let's go to Euro Yen and then I think that's pretty much all I've got for today. Um, okay, so pound yen showed coming into you know a huge level um, at about 80 pips or so. Aussie yen, same deal. Uh, Euro yen same deal so euro yen go back to 2012 2016 right that flash crash in uh, jan 2019 right here and we almost got there on march 18th so one more stab at it just about you know 131.15 is where we could be looking for resistance and just for fun let's throw a fib on there and see what we got mm, nothing really maybe 50 sound of not a fib but okay nothing there on this one Nothing really. so all right again euro yen uh, about 131 one pound yen what did I say 150 something 85 150 385 and Aussie N just a wee bit higher too those yen crosses look very interesting to me um, potentially reverse from huge huge levels pound yen probably the uh more so than any of the others uh just given the clarity on british pound itself coming into massive resistance and let's not forget the huge reversal uh that we had in february from a trend line that goes back to 2007 all right okay so if we don't have any questions I'll wrap it up. I do want to remind you one more time that Scandinavian Capital Markets, uh, where I'm chief technical strategist, we are looking for money managers. OK, uh, so if you're a profitable trader, uh, we've got clients all, all over the world that would like to invest in strategies. Uh, if you want to get into the money managing world, we can fund you with up to two million dollars. So come show us what you've got. 
and fund an account. Um, you go to Scandinavian Markets, again, that's scandinavianmarkets.com slash fund my trades. Again, scandinavianmarkets.com slash fund my trades. Okay. And yeah, come show us what you've got. And again, if you are watching this video throughout the video, you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, there is um, a link to join our Telegram channel. And that's where I post analysis uh, every weekday. Uh, and various insights uh, and then of course I do this webinar on Fridays as well so the link is down there uh, don't be shy come say hi and I will be back next Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time for another power hour with me Jamie Setley so if there are no questions here today I hope you did enjoy the video um, again markets are very clear right now with the way I look at things right from a pattern perspective um got a lot of clean setups out there which is exciting and i love it it's much better than when things are confusing and you don't know what the hell's going on so come join us we've got a lot of good trades a lot of good ideas and a lot of good uh things to talk about um in the weeks and months ahead all right take care have a good one bye